two days ago, there was news in the streets that uh, Koko Maweni had gone and they did umembezo for her. Basically, for those that are outside the country, umembezo, it's like they go, they dress you, you know, you will put blankets on you, they put money, you can see all those things. So basically, it's, it's like a way of wishing someone well or wishing them success, basically, on their journey uh, in their marriage and stuff like that. And so it's kind of like a bride price you could all part of the bride price you still have to pay the bride price but this is a part of it the bundle so you know it's like for nigerians it's like hey jesus <laughs> cooler not you see that cooler not event that you guys do <laughs> the cooler not yeah this is it this is like a cooler not period you know they bring the cooler not you all discuss you know, you shower the person with blessings, whether it be blankets and the whole nine watches. There was two verses that I thought about when I saw this, when I saw her go through this. Now, the first verse comes from the book of Matthew. And quite an interesting verse. Matthew chapter number 7, verse number 11 up until 12. The way he puts this, Quite interesting if I say so myself. He says, So if you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children. Now, if you remember this particular verse, if you are a Bible person, if you are not, you can Google it. You who are evil <laughs> know how to give good gifts. Just Google that, the verse will pop up. The context of this verse is that, you know, asking from God if you're in a point of need of an answer and so forth. And so you ask from God, God will answer. And so here he's giving that context by giving an example of us. When he says you who are wicked or you who are evil, he's, he's, he means in our nature, the nature, man's nature is absolutely corrupt. He says, you who are evil know how to good, do good gifts. What about God then? You know, he's, that example is a perfect example. But listen to verse number 12. Verse number 12 then says, In everything then, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the essence of the law and the prophets. Interesting. You remember the story of Lazarus and the rich man? What does Father Abraham say to the, to the rich man? When the rich man requests to go and talk to his people, the you know the ancestors, him is an ancestor now. So he wanted to talk to go and talk to his family. He says they have, there's two things they must listen to. You are not going back to give them a message. If there is a message, they will hear that message from the prophets and from Moses. This verse then feathers that. It says, if they have the law and the prophets, they will understand that do unto others as you would that they do unto you. Now, interesting thought. Very, very interesting if you ask me. Why? Because if you are a person out there who does bring like uh, Koko Maweni does, Koko Maweni being it that she's, she's now experienced the joys of marriage and everything, uh, it's something that she she also wanted. But she's a person who does ndumbi. You know, ndumbi, for those that are new on this channel, that's what we call it when people go to the shrine and ndumbi. A shrine is called indumba in Zulu. And so we call it ndumbi. We, we put the action word in it. <laughs> so if you go to the shrine, so that other people would be cast. You know, this is the kind of thing that Sangomas would do. They will, they will get some, someone would be cast so that they don't get married. There was some fucking street or what, all these things. They would do all these things. So people will go to a, an other Sangomas, they will pay them so that they can have the opposite of what they get to enjoy. So she gets to get married. 
But if someone goes to pay her, the things that she takes a, a great joy in, which is being married, she would wish it not for you. But you see, the verse says, wish, do for others as you would that they do unto you. So the verse teaches us, if you take joy in this, you should be able to wish it for someone else. Interesting thought. But there is, there is a but. What is the but? The but is that there is a balam in the Old Testament as well. The book of Numbers chapter number 22, was a, uh, it's, it's, it's an example of that. Balaam is a prophet who is hired by opposing nations to Israel to curse Israel. Hmm. You see? Do unto others as you would. Okay. But since they have erred on the basis, remember, remember what, <laughs> remember what, uh, what, what Matthew says. It says, "For this is the essence of the law and the prophets." So, if you have missed what was the what was the essence of the law and the prophets, the story of Balaam won't make sense. Balaam is paid by nations to go and curse Israel. That's his job. His job is to curse those. You know, the thing that you would want for yourself, you wouldn't wish it on another person. This is a good thing. You don't want it for other person. You actually, you actually participate as Balaam in cursing other people to have the West. Kitar, kitarin, what, whatever they call them. All these things, all these juju rituals and what, and all those things. She has said it herself. We are not saying anything she hasn't said. It's not accusations. It's things she has said herself on live television. This is why I am not Fondumbi. This is why I personally do not believe Ndumbri is from God. How are you to be proud of being wicked? Proud that you are going to care someone so that they can they will not have a job. Proud so that so, like the things that the wickedness of this. But on the other hand, you wish the good for yourself. But people come to you to ruin other people. So you see, it lacks in the decency of allowing people to progress. Me, I believe Africa is behind because of witchcraft. <laughs> the politicians are one thing. Yeah, but witchcraft has really pulled us way behind. Because someone gets ahead. You, 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 you are not aware even when you get on the road. On the road, there is cars be, uh, in front of you. You are not alone on the road. There is other people in front. No matter where you enter a road, whether you are you just got into an off-ramp. I know they call them off-ramps. Is it an in-ramp? <laughs> what do you call it when you enter the road? <laughs> this can't be off-ramping. You are off-ramping if you are going off the road. Like if you're going off the highway. When you're entering, anyways. So, no matter where you off-ramp into the highway from, there is always someone in front of you. But from a Ndumbring perspective, there can't be someone in front of you. You, sh you, you, you are then jealous and proud. Go too far. The fact that when you experience something good, it's just nice. Like, if you have a job, enter a shop going to buy something that you want. Like, something that you really want. It doesn't have to be big or anything like that, you know? Um, just being go able to go to a shop, buy groceries. You know, the moment you take up that cart and you're going to pay for it, you just realize, you know, like, uh, when I was in the shop the other time, there was this lady, she was counting like two rands, three rands, four rands, 
like she was counting coins and so and she was standing on the aisle and so i only i saw her when i had already when i had already turned and like she's counting coins so she's probably short for what is needed to pay for whatever she wants to pay for maybe then you are suddenly so grateful that you are able to afford whatever it is you bought for yourself is this there's a sense of gratitude you know there's a sense of gratitude for being able to do something you wish others would have that experience such a nice experience you know i had the best here a job me and my sister everything we do we went bought pizza <laughs> we had a big pizza each one is own <laughs> You know it's such a nice experience. I had done it by myself, but when I when my sister came to visit, I went and I did it with her. I said, "Yeah, let's go buy pizza." <laughs> you know, and we just enjoyed the pizza. <laughs> Without a care in life. You wish someone would experience that. You know, I have a friend uh who took me to Santin the first time I went to Santin I'd been in Joburg for over I think over 6 7 years I had never gone to Santin you know I had never gone to Santin and a friend of mine came and said you know there's this how to wonder how train thing came he's like hey man there's this thing, there's this place called Santin this what what mall what oh okay cool let's go you know you can never take away the joy that it gave me for me to be with him you know i didn't pay for the transport to go there i didn't pay for the he paid for the food we went to mcdonald's you know we mcdonald's ourselves <laughs> and we took a how train was it was brand new it was just opened it had just opened and we went hey! You know he, he's he's a guy who, who grew up loving cars. And so the speed there went, and you know we were feeling it I remember we were even recording and stuff. And it was such an an exciting thing and his first time going there was my first time also going there. But it was also my first time going to Santin. And you know I'm at this mall, you know Santin mall is like wow, if you've just only been seen Bree Carlton Center. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this experience he was going on and he wished to take me with him you wish someone to have that i hope that has not died in you that you are able to wish i wish someone would have this good Because if it dies, you become one of those people that visit these ndumbas to do these rituals, cause the cursing and do whatever follows that. Be careful. Be careful of yourself. No, it's not other people. No, no, it's you. That's the problem. Be careful of yourself. because like i'm saying it's such a good thing like when you know what's good you've experienced it you wish that you wish others would come and partake of this nice thing you know that's why we make recommendations online you see videos of people uh, unboxing the things they like they unbox the cell phone other people have unboxed it but you know you you want to unbox it because of this experience you want others to experience this thing with you if you enjoyed this thing so much would you would you not wish others to have that but i pray that you have not gone so far that you have no recollection of the joy of being able to share a smile with other people There's no way I'm gonna. There's no way of ending this video. Can leave it right there. Sir.